I've spent a career and a lifetime as an adult here in Arizona working for our state wildlife agency and now Audubon and I'm the director of bird conservation for Audubon Southwest and our geography is the states of Arizona and New Mexico. So we are sitting in the Bureau of Land Management's San Pedro Riparian National Conservation Area and so the water flows north into the state of Arizona until it meets the Gila River. 80 to 90 percent of living organisms spend part of their lifespan near these watercourses. And so they're very important. They've been referred to as ribbons of life. It's natural for these rivers to go from the flow that we see here right now to where we're sitting being underwater and bank to bank and beyond. There's a very high diversity of bird life here, which is why Audubon and the American Bird Conservancy have both designated this a globally important bird area. Many of the birds that use these rivers are what we call <clears throat> neotropical migrants, which means they breed here in the United States and then they winter in Central and South America. The greatest threats to flows in our Western rivers are um, physical diversion of the water for other purposes, drought, so our changing climate is a new emerging threat. Another big threat that is, I think, more recently being recognized is the pumping of groundwater. So if I own a farm next to this river and I drill a well, I'm actually taking water from this river. In my assessment, uh, what's really at stake on the long term is um, sustainable water supply, not only for our wildlife resources, fish, wildlife, plants, for people. So if we continue to pump groundwater without any consideration of um, the withdrawal rate, we eventually will be in a place where there's no water for us either. My hope for the San Pedro River is that we are able to maintain this healthy riparian corridor for its entire length, from its headwaters in Mexico to where it meets the Gila River to the north. And I would like to think that it will always be here and it will be a ribbon of life for Arizona for generations to come.